Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Monday Morning Minutes for the week. I hope that uh, you are off to a great Monday. I just have something I would like to share with you today. I received this wonderful gift yesterday. Uh, this is from Cherry Lee Hatcher, one of our, our long-standing members here at Bowling Green Cumberland Presbyterian Church. If you've come here for any length of time, you hopefully you know Cherry Lee. She is one of the sweetest people you will ever meet in your life. And uh, her late husband was the Reverend Carlton Hatcher. And this is, is a portable communion set uh, that, that, that Reverend Carlton Hatcher used when he was a minister in the Cumberland Presbyterian Church. And uh, I, was, I was visiting Cherry Lee in the hospital several weeks ago and happened to mention that I was looking for one of the uh, portable communion set for those of our church family that can't make it to church and can take communion to them when we have communion instead of them uh, missing out. And so I, I appreciate the gift so much because, I mean, just not just the gift itself, but, but who it comes from. I never got the chance to know Reverend Carlton, um, but I'd imagine over the years that he ministered to so many people and, and took this with him and took the little juice and, and little you know, wafers and, and served communion. And it just, it, it's a wonderful thing to get to inherit. And uh, it reminded me of, of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 5, when Paul writes to Timothy and he says, I am reminded of your sincere faith, which first lived in your grandmother Lois, then in your mother Eunice, and now I am persuaded lives in you also. And just just that thought, it just we stop and think about church, that heritage and traditions and things are handed down from one generation to another. Um, the beliefs, the doctrines, and, and then the traditions and, and the worship and the music and, and everything else. And yes, we always, you know, we, we, we have new songs sometimes that we're, we incorporate into worship service. We have new traditions that we start, but we never forget that heritage and we never forget those who have gone before us. And so I, I look forward to years of ministry with this and getting to go visit shut-ins and serve communion or those that can't come to church. And then one day, I mean, it'll happen. One, well, one day I'll leave this earth and I'll get to meet Reverend Carlton Hatcher in heaven and shake his hand and I'll pass this on to whoever the next minister is going to be, whoever's going to continue on this heritage and tradition. So I think that's a great thing to think about for a week. We don't have meat in the middle this week. Uh, we, we don't have those extra you know activities. We're taking a break for the month of May, Wednesday being May 1st. Um, but just think about Think about your legacy, your time here on this earth. What are you passing down to the next generation? What do you have of your time and your talents uh, and, and, and your material blessings that you can share with others? Something that they might see that, take that, and, and, and it might mean something to them for the rest of their lives. You, you just never know the kind word that you will share, uh, the gift that you will give, uh, whatever it might be. And that would inspire somebody else in their walk with Jesus Christ and their faith and in their personal growth. And then, then one day, if you pass something down to the coming, the generation coming up, uh, the generation coming up will, will one day be the generation that's moving on to heaven. And they'll, they can leave the same legacy, the same heritage, the, the next generation coming up. And on it goes down through the years. So uh, thank you again so much to Cherry Lee. I appreciate this so much, not just, again, for what it is, but for who it came from and for what it means and just getting to use that to continue on in ministry here at Bowling Green Cumberland Presbyterian Church. And we all have something to give. We all have something to leave to the generation coming up behind us or after us. So I hope you all have a blessed week and we will see you on Sunday.